Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer. I am thrilled you guys are here today. If you are new, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back you guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. I'd love to have y'all here. We have so much fun talking about beauty and luxury beauty and shopping for beauty and trying new things. It, today we're gonna try some new things and just get ready. I have a new Givenchy powder, bronzing powder here. I have, ooh, the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace collab. I have a new Chanel lipstick that I am loving. So I am so excited to share some newbies with you today. I thought it'd be fun just to chat about them and just get ready. So let's get ready guys. All right, we are gonna start with the eyes today and I am using the Tiny Marvels palette by Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace. I love Sydney Grace. The formulation of Sydney Grace eyeshadows are so, so good. If you haven't heard of Sydney Grace eyeshadows, I would highly recommend checking them out because they're just so pigmented, but blendable. And they're just beautiful on, very easy to apply, not hard to apply at all. And such a lovely company. Such a lovely company. I actually got this in PR and I was so excited. And I was excited to see Mel Thompson collaborate and create her own palette. That's just so amazing. What an awesome opportunity. And these, this is the palette she created. It does have a mirror on the other side. And it's just, these are just so, so nice. I have started playing with it and I really like it so far. So we're gonna just do a look today. I can do a dedicated video if you'd like to see a dedicated video to this particular palette, but this is new to me. So let's try this. First, I'm going in with the Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essentials. It looks like this, it's cool, like a frosted packaging here. I really like this. It's really nice. It kind of just coats and dries quickly. I like that it's not tacky whenever you apply it. I was thinking of doing something like more berry neutral look with this. I thought that might be fun. Maybe some of these purples and things. I really like that she has color in here, but they're also, it's almost like a wearable color. I did, I created a look with this, this green here and y'all, it looked, I mean, it was, it was green, but it was kind of like a natural green. It was really cool. I was kind of proud of myself, to be honest. So I am going to go over, I'm gonna go in with this tree hopper shade. It's just kind of your good old transition shade. And go in here. I love this shade. It's like the perfect tone for my skin tone. I feel like a good transition shade for sure. It's like, it's very neutral. Not too warm, not too cool. Just really nice. Can you tell? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go in with this shade called Love Bug. Definitely a more kind of purple. Now these do have some kickback. So I do tap that off. Kind of like a purple lavender. These mattes are butter. I'm going to blend that, I promise. <laughs> it won't stay like that. So it's fun to just get it on and then see it come together when you start blending. I'm just going to take Bugaboo. It's that kind of deep cranberry shade right here. I'm just taking a little bit, just a little bit, just like just a bit, and kind of going right here just to deepen that a teeny bit. Now I'm just taking a clean brush and I'm going in and just blending just to blend those shades together and make it less harsh pretty. Now I'm taking just a small flat brush here and I'm going to go in, I don't know if I wanna go in with this marble shade, which kind of looks like this, or this meadow hawk. Ooh, what do I want? Maybe marble. Okay, excited. I haven't tried this shade yet. shade that would be 
pretty just on its own too. It's gore it, look how simple this is to apply y'all. It's mature, like a mature shimmer, not too glittery, not too, it's not emphasizing any type of texture. I love that shade. That is beautiful. I love that going in with this web it's kind of like a white try to swatch it for you it's white <laughs> I'm gonna go in with just a small teeny brush get a little bit and go right here just to highlight the eye maybe go right here I don't know if that's a little too frosty but we'll hey you don't know unless you try not too bad. I just, I literally just dabbed my <laughs> brush in it. Scott Barnes kind of fan brush here. It's the, it's an awesome brush, y'all. It's kind of cool. I'm just sweeping. Sweep and blend. And that's the cool thing about this brush is it, that's literally what you can do with it just to blend it all together. And it's really nice. I don't know if this will go. <laughs> I think it will. It's called this. Okay. I really want to try this black forest shade by Shantikai. It is so pretty. I'm going to try to swatch it here for you. Look, I'm so excited to try this. I think I'm going to put this like in my inner waterline, maybe take it on top. We'll see. But I've, re I've really been wanting to try this and this is new to me. So I thought it'd be fun to try. Let's see. I really like that. It's just subtle hint of a green shift. Does that make sense? It doesn't look super green on, but wow, it makes my eyes look really green. With this, even with this eyeshadow color, it looks really cool. I'm going to curl my lashes and put mascara on, and we'll do the face. Now this is a newer mascara that I've been trying. I have this little, it's not a new mascara by all means, but it's a newer mascara that I've been trying to me. It's the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara, but the wand looks like this and I have been trying this. Now this is not the her newest release mascara, it's the older one. But I really like this. Like, I'm quite impressed. I'm tempted to try the new one, too. Have y'all tried the new one yet? I'm curious to see how it does. I love this. All right, Tom Ford. This is not a brand new foundation to me. I love this foundation, and they're discontinuing it. This is the Traceless Perfecting Foundation in 5.7 Dune. I love this foundation. It's half off if you can find it. I'll link it below if there's some available if you at the time you're watching this but y'all this is the best I mean your skin looks poreless I'm still debating on whether to get a backup but I don't think I'm going to but I think it'd be interesting to see if the new matte one was anything like this one I'm going in with my Gucci brow pencil that I absolutely love this is in Chantaine Chantaine I just like the pencil aspect of it. I know that sounds crazy, but I like to be able to sharpen it. Just something about that is really cool. Now, I love being able to try other pencils, but I just haven't recently, but I might. Okay, this is brand new to me too. This is the Tint, Tint? <laughs> Couture Healthy Glow Powder by Givenchy. Givenchy, Givenchy. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. My husband actually got this for me, you guys. I know. He picked this out all by himself. Can you believe that? I can't either. But look how gorgeous this is, guys. This is in shade two. I can't believe he picked this out himself. I'm just, like, amazed. <laughs> Not, well, you know. He's, he's good. He's good at stuff like that. He can... He has the best taste and he can always surprise me and I can never surprise him. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what 
kind of all right so this is a swatch here and I try to go in with my this is a, a refer four and that didn't really pick anything up so I think I'm gonna need something a little bit more dense now this is the first time I've tried this so that's why I am kind of playing around to see what brush will work I think I'm gonna just use this dense I don't even BS mall I don't know I, th I think I got it for Christmas in a set or something like that so we're gonna try this I have a good friend on my forehead today lovely <laughs> Ooh. okay The shade is very nice. I like the shade. Definitely could wear this during the winter too. It's light, but definitely buildable. Can y'all tell? When I haven't used something before, I'm actually kind of like, I'm like, I don't want to apply too much. <laughs> But I can definitely tell this, this reminds me of my Gucci bronzer in a way because it's, you use, I have to use a denser brush with my Gucci bronzer just to get some more color payoff. But I kind of like it. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, but not a lot. Not matte matte, but I feel like it has just a little bit of a kind of natural glow. And it is called Healthy Glow, so very nice. I'm liking that. So far, so good. Okay, not bad, hubby, not bad. So I don't have a new blush, but I thought we'd go in with this B Emotion shade by Shantikai. This was gifted. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. Just add, I love the finish of these. Oh, look at this, you guys. It's just, just a beautiful, beautiful sheen. Not too much. So chic and sophisticated and really pretty. I love that. I have a new Chanel lip liner coming because I really wanted to try the formula, but it hadn't come in yet. So I thought what we do is go in. What should I do? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do Pillow Talk. So just outlining the lips. This is the re-promoted Adrian shade in the Chanel 2020 fall collection. It's number 402, you guys. I mean, look at that nude. That is so pretty, gorgeous. I also thought I would use this Liquid Lumiere by Shantikai. This is so beautiful. This is in the shade Brilliance. <laughs> So I just get just a tiny bit on my finger here that much and go right here. This was gifted by the way. I always like to disclose by the brand. And this has kind of like a little bit of gold and you can always add a little bit more. But I always like to start soft because this stuff is beautiful. Yes. Look how pretty that is, guys. Just this really gold, pretty sunlit gold in a way. I mean, it's brilliance. <laughs> I mean, the shade was named very well. <laughs> oh, stunning. I love that. And I always like to put some. Just right there. All right, so our look is done. Just something simple. The eyes are really, really pretty. I love this look with the eyes. I've been trying this. <laughs> this is the brand new Charlotte Tilbury face spray. It's the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It says party all night, stay all day. I, I like the product itself. The spritzer for me is a little forceful. It's not a fine mist at all. And I'll show you kind of, I think I can. Uh, let me show you. And it really soaks your face, if you can tell. <laughs> so you gotta be careful with it. I love the way it looks, so after. But it's a pretty forceful mist. All right, y'all, that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed me trying out a few new items. I really, really like this palette by Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson. If you wanna see more looks with this, let me know. I'd, I'd love to do it. Guys, this is really pretty so far. I mean, I think it's just really beautiful. I'm 
actually very impressed. So far so good with this Givenchy powder. This eyeliner was a breeze to use you guys. It just glided like silk and gosh it is called Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner. This is in Black Forest and it is, has that tint of green and I just love. I'm not I'm usually like a black or brown eyeliner type girl but I thought you know let's try something different and I'm kind of glad I did because I'm venturing out guys, venturing out. <laughs> I adore the eye look guys. I'm just really, really excited in this new lipstick by Chanel. Oh, it's such a, gr it's, it's been a, a great lipstick for a long time. They're just re-promoting. And I'm sitting there going, why haven't I tried this? <laughs> I was like, this is a perfect kind of pinky nude for me. I love it. I really do and it's just so comfortable easy to apply easy to wear beautiful you guys are having a great day I'll link below here my newest video showing the Chanel the newest Chanel shades the Le Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Gloss y'all these are so beautiful so check that out below I'll see you there bye y'all